Why are you growing barley instead of any other crop? We buy a large number of large amount of feed. It's got two options. We can either whole crop it into silage or grain. Right. This crop will mostly go into grain. Um, so we're trying to sort of control some of our own costs. When was it sown? 15th of March. So it's you know it's grown a good crop for low low water. Yep. Um, and it's a area that when we've grown turnips in here, I think we yielded about two tonne okay. to the heat here. We did a good crop of rye corn, but it doesn't give us the high energy feed that we're looking yeah. for. So how many tonne to the hectare would you expect off this? Uh, well, at this stage, it's, if we can get some rain, we'll get some good um, head fill, so we'll, we'll take this through to grain. Uh, if not, we'll either try and get a bit of water over it or take it through as whole crop silage. Um, should be able to harvest um, around eight tonne. So you're using Mogul for a fungicide, how's that going for you? Yeah, good, we've had some good results. I mean, looking at the paddocks, it's, it's clean. Um, yeah, very little sign of um, fungus damage. Um, you know, we've done terpications, um, and it's worked, out, it's worked out well. Uh, highly recommend it. So how have you found the on-farm technical advice? Well, when we started talking what to grow in the, this block, you know, we've 80, 120 hectares, 80 hectares in this in this block. Uh, you know, it was nobody was doing it. Yeah. Uh, locally, and if it hadn't been for that, to be able to get that technical advice, we wouldn't have had the we wouldn't have gone ahead with it. It's it's been very successful, um, and that advice has been good. Yeah. Good. And, uh, you know, the results are speaking for themselves. Thank you.